what's up? M here, the Traveling Tarot. Hey there, Aries. M here, the Traveling Tarot with your Oracle messages from Spirit in regards to whatever's on your mind. So I've been picking up on a lot of different energies, and so I decided that it would be really cool to pull a bunch of oracle messages. That way we can get some direct information. Um, and even though they are general messages, typically the overarching energy is the same. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and start looking for evidence as soon as you do find something that does resonate, because that is how spirit works. They are for people with Aries placements. However, if you're here watching the video, there's a message in it for you, so you might want to stick around till the end. So I'm going to start by just cleansing the space, and then we'll jump right into the reading. I hope everyone is doing very well. My reads are timeless, but we are coming into, uh, we're about to have Christmas here in this, you know, and uh, we're coming up to 2024. So uh, it's a wonderful time for reflecting, deciding what's coming into 2024 with you and what's staying in 2023. So I hope everyone is having a good time with, you know, that time of discernment. So we start out with the message from Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will, bro will block your progress. So over the next few weeks here, my beautiful Aries, you're going to want to spend some time just visualizing the thing that you're trying to create. And it shows up with Teresa, who wants you to know that it's time to take a time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. But now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. And this is a wonderful way. Take some time out in the jacuzzi, get a massage, take a bath, and just visualize what it is you're looking to feel now. Okay? What it is you're looking to create and feel now. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these Sea Life Oracle cards to see if we can get a little more information um, in terms of the overarching energies. But yeah, it's time to visualize it the way that you want it and take a time out. Set some boundaries and, um, you know, spend some time asking Aries, what does Aries want, you know? And spend more time bringing, focusing on that and at least visualizing it if you, even if you don't see a way out of it yet, okay? Leaping through the air, a plan you have made is on track. If you're waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. Remember how I said it's time for you to decide what that thing is that you want and start moving towards it. You know, um, take that time out because, in not again, not saying don't care for your family, but take some time out to yourself to figure out figure out what that actually is that you're looking to create, okay? Because something that you're planning is on track. And it's the 45 card that breaks down to nine, which is about fulfillment, okay? So something is coming to fruition, um, but it's time to get to work and stop putting off any ideas or projects that you've been considering, okay? And then we have shared inspiration, which is the 20 card. It breaks down to two, which is about partnerships, okay? Also about duality, and balance. So it says, throw yourself into a new project. <laughs> be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. Right now, it is time for you to take that leap of faith towards something that you believe in and that you really, truly love there, my beautiful Aries, okay? The ideas typically that we put off are the ideas that our, our creative projects because we feel like we have to we we don't we can't possibly how can I focus on making music I, I have a family to feed how can I how can I write that book or how can I paint that picture when I have a family to feed 
beautiful. I love when Crystal shows up because as soon as I pick up Teresa, Crystal wants you to know, have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see. Okay. So you want to ask yourself, what do I desire? Visualize that and it does come about and believe it into being because any type of negativity or disbelief towards it only slows the progress. Okay. Take whatever time out you need there, my beautiful Aries, to get clear on this inspiration that you're receiving and start working on it. Start working on it as if it's coming to be coming into fruition because it is. Surround yourself, excuse me, surrounded by prosperity, which is a 30 card. It breaks down to three, which is creativity and creation. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know there's prosperity everywhere. Even if you've been putting off that project because you don't see how the money's going to come into it or anything like that, Spirit is just saying, take that time out and receive that inspiration. That's where that shared inspiration comes in. That's when it becomes duality. Spirit is saying, take time out, receive the inspiration to get to the money because you're surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure okay so spirit just wants you to say that you might not be able to see the prosperity that's surrounding you my beautiful aries and that could be very the very reason why these projects are stalled but as you tap into the inspiration that you're receiving from your spirit and visualizing it and feeling it it's coming into being and crystal comes in to say hey something is coming if you you, you may not see it yet so just expect it Okay. What other information do you want me to give Aries spirit in regards to what's coming in for them over the next few weeks? And really the truth is, is you get to choose what that is because you are the one who's visualizing it. It has to do with your focus. Oh my God. Abundance. <laughs> abundance. This is what I say. Visualize your abundant self. We saw surrounded by prosperity show up here. Visualize it the way that you want it, Aries, because you're surrounded by abundance. You're surrounded by prosperity. Visualize it without having to sell your guitar and live in your car. Visualize it the way that you want it and feel happy about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and visualize it without the obstacles and spirit will fill in the blanks, okay? And the what you know, is the only thing that you want to get clear on because the how will come in in the way that spirit sees fit in terms of the path of least resistance, okay? And you're getting helpful people on your path that are helping you get there, okay? This is where that shared inspiration comes in as well. Now, this is the other part. This is the other side of the two where, yes, it's about duality, but as you tap into your spiritual nature and your spirit, you are also attracting balanced partnerships, relationships, love, love relationships, business partnerships, friends, community, clients, whatever you need, okay? And it's a resounding yes with the exclamation point, okay? So there's some type of abundance coming in. All you have to do is visualize it because, yeah, that yes means it comes about. It comes about and that is beautiful news if you can see it the way you want to see it. But on the flip side of that is if you have a tough time believing it, stay off the subject because it comes about the way you see it. <laughs> and if you see it as hard or you see yourself having to hop your guitar and live in your car to be a musician, then that's how it's going to be. The universe just says yes. Okay, so we have Re Reconsider showing up as well. And again... This this is going to show up anytime. First of all, we see the sort of truth in there, okay? So anytime that it might be time to look at your approach, I always maintain that it is not what you're creating that you need to reconsider because if you feel it and you can see it, it's yours. But you may have been taking a different approach to it, okay? And again, with this showing up saying get to work, stop letting whatever whatever barriers or excuses have kept you from moving forward towards this abundance, reconsider your approach. Stop putting off your ideas and projects. You're considering. <laughs> reconsider. 
That's so perfect, actually. It says, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you're considering. Reconsider those projects and get moving. That's so perfect, Spirit. Thank you so much. And look, remain positive during this, Aries, okay? You are taking a time out. You're setting some boundaries. And you're visualizing it the way that you want it to be. So you want to do it from a, a positive perspective. Like I say, you want to visualize it without the obstacles. Okay, because it doesn't have to be with obstacles. It doesn't have to be the long, hard road. Okay, it's just that we're so comfortable with that, that we expect it. We, we've heard that story so many times that we expect it now, and so it becomes the truth. It doesn't have to be hard. Just reconsider your approach. You don't have to reconsider the thing you're asking for. Can I get some more messages from my lovely Aries watching this video spirit in regards to what they can expect? Yeah. This is what I say. Reconsider the way that you've been expecting these projects and these things that you're trying to create to go. Okay? Visualize and tap into the vastness and the creativity of the cosmos. And you will be able to and it will come about. <laughs> but also, I always like to give that extra warning is like, okay, well, yeah, whatever I want, but how are you thinking about what it is you're creating? Because if you're looking at it from a lackful mindset, then you're not getting very good results. And if you are, then you're exhausted because it means you're banging the, the results into place and you're doing everything you can to hold it together. Spirit is saying you don't have to do any of that. Release all of that stuff, okay? All you have to do is think about it from a different perspective. And we got the heavy lifting, okay? So we also have uh, the Ice Queen showing up, but it's a 28 card breaking down to a 10. So this could be very well the end of this cycle going into a new beginning because it says ideas preserved. There's something about... with. There's something about something you've already been working on, Aries, that you need to relook at, okay? And that's 100% the truth. Because look at this. Ideas preserved. Stop putting off ideas or projects you're considering. Get to work if you're waiting for something. I'm telling you, Spirit is saying, reconsider whatever these projects are, okay? Because we have non-action. These are projects that you have not been working on or focused on or you for whatever reason because you've been fulfilling everyone else's needs spirit is saying you're entitled because we entitlement also shows up on this card you're entitled to these things you're entitled to to have these projects turn out the way that you see them but you have to visualize them without the obstacles they tap into the vastness of creativity see yourself as an abundant person Use that duality and use that energy and the people that spirit will send in to help you through that, okay? But just look back at those ideas. There's something that you did do, still love to do, wish you could do. The spirit is saying you've had some really good ideas, Aries. Go, Aries, go back to those ideas and see because you're in a different perspective now. Now you can see beyond what's created and maybe see how you can expand it. But Spirit is definitely saying, go back to something because we preserve those ideas. Those were good ideas and those are gonna be the ideas that bring in the abundance. But you've gotta go back to it and get back to work and stop using not having this or that which surrounded by, by prosperity showed up so could be the money. Don't let not having this or that keep you from going back to these ideas and bringing them into fruition, okay? Can I get another card from my lovely Aries? Ooh. Yes, I love you so much, Spirit. The web weaver. We have synchronicity, divine intelligence, and cause and effect. It's what you are putting out. What you are putting out. And... That goes right with visualization. You've got to feel this thing that you, you got to feel abundant. 
You have to feel prosperous. You have to feel creative. You have to feel healthy. You have to feel strong. You have to feel confident before any of that stuff follows physically. And that's 100% the truth. Okay, and that comes in as a four, with, which is about solid foundations. It's about stability. It's about security. Okay, so just be secure in this, this divine intelligence and in this. And it falls out on the shared inspiration, which brings us back to the 20, which is a two, which I'm telling you represents you and spirit's relationship with yourself and spirit. Can I get one more of these cards from my lovely Aries spirit in regards to whatever they need to know for the next few weeks? Yes, we have abundance showing up again. We have the sun dancers. There's some type of change coming in. Okay, look for synchronicities. Look for synchronicities because this card says joyful activity, which brings in abundance. Celebrating life brings in abundance. And abundance brings in abundance. These are all of the feelings that you're creating during these visualizations, okay? Tap into the creative mind and do it with joy and feel abundant. And look at these new ideas that you need to do. Look at it with a new, um, with new eyes, with new, new energy, new perspective, new potential. And you'll be able to see how to, which one is the one, especially as you ask spirit for definite leads on the right next step towards your abundance. You're in this situation right now where what you're putting out is coming back to you. So spirit is just saying, all you have to do is see it without the obstacles. And we got it from there. Take this time out, okay? And don't say I'm too busy to see it any other way. You almost can't not do it if you, just, if you want change in your life. You don't have time to not do it, okay? So we also have, again, <laughs> the Swan Queen showing up with intuition, transformation, and patience. And that's another four cards letting you know that this is, th things are going to be built on a more solid foundation. This abundance is going to be long lasting and it is going to be an idea. Where did that idea one show? Oh, it was under the, under the deck. And it's going to be an idea that you've had before that you let fall by the wayside because the truth is, is it wasn't time for it then, but it's time for it now. And you know what that is. So take that as it resonates, my beautiful Aries, because it, the time is now and we have staying focused showing up as soon as holding the course. Okay. As soon as, as soon as I pick up that deck. So spirit just wants you to see it the way that you want it. Whoa. Without the obstacles. And stay the course. Healing energy flows through you. Some of you guys might literally be healers, but I always maintain that we're all spiritual healers because just talking to your neighbor about his situation and how you got through yours healed his spirit, even in that moment. And, and it's literally moment to moment interacting with each other, you're healing each other because you are a healer regardless of what your profession is or where your focus is. Okay, so just keep that in mind and that should empower you to, to tap into this creativity and this vastness, okay? Because literally we have magic powers and all we have to do is see it the way we want to see it and literally visualize ourselves doing it. That could be sometimes the work, but the time is now. It's time to answer that call, okay? Tap into the abundance that's yours. Take this time out to see it the way that you want it to be and get back to the projects that you've let maybe not having money or not having a team or not seeing a clear path to it. Go back to that list and see, see why Spirit has that showing up so many times in the reading. Okay, because it's going to be the path to your abundance. We had staying, we had hold the course, jump right back in there and staying focused. That fell out on cause and effect and divine guidance, shared inspiration and helpful people. I'm telling you something beautiful is coming in there, Aries, and you're only being asked to reconsider, reconsider your approach, 
look back at some of the ideas that you had with new fresh eyes and with the perspective that you're reconsidering how you did it. Maybe there's a different way. Sometimes you have to step back from something so that you can come back in and, and, and complete it, okay? And keep going forward. Keep going forward, Aries. You guys are on the right track. And this is a fantastic reading. Because Spirit is saying, even though know, those projects that you that you may have let, you know, fall dormant because you were focused on helping everybody else and taking care of everyone else, it's now time to tap back into those because especially as you tap back into something that you love, something is going to come of that that you are not that you can't see right now there, Aries, okay? So shout to the heavens with happiness and be enthusiastic and joyful. And this comes out on the sun dancers. Embrace this with enthusiasm. Embrace these new projects. Shout to the heavens that you get to work on that album again, or you get to write that book, or you get to paint that picture. And celebrate the fact that you get to do that. And we have abundance showing up for the third time. Infinite abundance pours into your life. Abundance is pouring into your life. I'm telling you, go back to these old projects and see where you can maybe develop them into something, especially in a new world that we're in, in a new focus that we're in, we're in a new energy. You've evolved since you left that project. Your your conscious mind has moved forward and you are now receiving ways to bring that abundance in because I'm telling you, with abundance showing up three, four times with prosperity. So this is this this ideas, these ideas that you're going back to are gonna be the money ones. Okay, so use your intuition and look back at some of the things that you that you had, that some of the ideas that you had, and see see which one spirit is guiding you to work on, and you'll know. You'll know if you tap in, if you trust yourself and tap into it. And typically, just as an aside, it's going to be your first thought. Okay, so the thing, when you go back to those ideas, that first thought is going to be the idea. And yes, you'll spend the rest of the time <laughs> looking at all the ideas and making sure that this, because that's the human mind coming in and, and there's that doubt and stuff. But I'm here to tell you that's that that first thought, that first thing that lights you up is going to be the, the answer that spirit is giving you. And you'll know because even after you go through the rest of the list and and, and, and imagine, visualize all the outcomes and possibilities because that's what you're being asked to do. That's also feeding energy, especially if you're doing it from a joyful place. You're going to come back to that first thought because right now you're in a space of being guided to the right next step. And as you're visualizing all of the old ideas, Spirit wants you to go back to that list because it's guiding you to the right answer. Okay, and we have infinite creativity and magic showing up for your mindful messages. At any moment, I'm able to tap into an infinite source of energy and creativity within me. Unique ideas flow through, each one capable of blossoming into beautiful creativity. I'm sorry, creations. Go back to those old, those old ideas that you had and just see if you can flesh out something. Because that's going to be your path to abundance. And we have magic showing up. It says, there's magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. And we have synchronicity showing up right here. <laughs> I love you, Spirit. You're just so on it all the time. And it's just beautiful when you're aware of it. I love filling life with wonder. Uh, yeah, I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. Okay, so just tap into it um, there, my beautiful Aries. You guys have a lot of beautiful energy. And to be honest, you're at the helm of what's coming next. How fast it happens, how it looks, how it feels, because you are now visualizing it into being. So go back to that list. Have fun imagining what it would be like being the designer. Or should I be a dancer? Imagine all of that. And spirit, you'll know which one it is because you've already asked for the definite leads on the right next step, okay? And that this an this is the answer the Spirit is giving you in response to that definite leads. Go back to some of your old ideas and then you'll get the right next step, okay? 
So I hope something did resonate. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. Just posted and streamed a bunch of um, meditations. We have the King and Queen of Wands, Strength, uh, Conjuring Love, as well as... Um, The High Priestess. <laughs> and um, yeah, I did also post a new Divine Shuffle podcast, also a live collective reading. So just check out my live tab. There's a lot of cool stuff there. And of course, um, you know, check out the other videos in the playlist for Aries or other your other placements. You might get um, some more insight into what it is you're focused on right now. I'm going to just pull one more self-care card. I do have two that came out already. So over the next few weeks, we're just going to focus on taking good care of ourselves, looking back on some of the things that we really that we really wrote down as ideas or, or considered as ideas. And we're going to allow spirit to guide us to how to make those a reality. So we have read. Definitely gather knowledge, especially if this is an idea that you left kind of falling by the wayside because you didn't feel confident enough or you didn't feel like you had enough uh, information or you didn't feel competent enough. So Spirit is saying now is the time to get the information. I'm telling you to go back to your old ideas so that you can receive the right next step that you've been asking for, Aries, okay? Clear your energy field. My The fastest way to do it for me is always music or listening to, you know, running water or listening to singing bells. Um, you can also do it with incense or aromatherapy. Smoke is definitely a wonderful way to do it as well. And then make a meal. Really get your hands in there and cut the vegetables and get something healthy and feel like just something natural that helps you feel connected to the universe. And then watch a movie. Distract yourself from whatever you've asked for and expect it with enthusiasm. And be excited because you're being asked to tap back into the old things that you love. The ideas that you, for one reason or another, decided weren't going to work. Spirit is saying, Aries, it's going to work now. Okay? <laughs> so, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is, you know, going to have a wonderful holiday, a wonderful, happy, safe new year. I'm truly thankful that I get to do this. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and any support because it's coming right back at you from me. Um, and I just uh, want you guys to know that I love you. I'm M, the Traveling Tarot. Please take care of each other. Peace.